Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. This is my Urban Damask over layers of holographic nails. And winners will be revealed throughout the video, so keep watching. Don't miss out on if you won my 500 giveaway. Thank you everyone for participating. Lots of thank yous and there will be more giveaways if you didn't win. And I will have a balance that I'm going to be doing on my thumbnail. So I'm going to be using a curing lamp LED UV. So after I do my first layer, pause the video if you're sensitive to light or fast forward through those parts. Or just be aware. Everything will be listed below. And lots of things in this tutorial happening. Very excited to reveal who won the giveaway. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And thank you all subscribers that are watching my videos. And that are subscribed. <laughs> so here I want to prep the nail. And I'm going in with the file. I'm cleaning off or filing off all the old polish from my last hollow negative space nail tutorial. I want to smooth out the edges as much as possible. And there's some cuticle that I need to trim off. I will do that off camera. And I'll just be using a cuticle pusher, a metal one. If you're not new to pushing you're like if you're heavy-handed be careful with the metal you don't want to scrape your nail plate use a wooden or a plastic cuticle pusher but I'm um, smoothing why well, I, I use a smoother side because I didn't want to lose the shape and then in the end I kind of use the other side of the file here I'm using my wooden pusher I already trimmed my cuticle area because I'm not sure if some of you are sensitive to that it is dead skin. You just don't want to cut your eponychium, which is living tissue, right behind your cuticle area. Or right behind your cuticle. This is isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol. And I was cleaning off and getting ready for the next step. Cleaning off everything and I found some more nail polish. So I'm stopping everything that I'm doing. I'm going to start over and get that off. I didn't do that with my first balance and I had, I was able to see where the nail polish, old nail polish was from not filing everything up. But now I'm becoming a little bit more tedious <laughs> and I like that. So I wiped everything down, pushed back my eponychium and then I am putting a bonder. The Brisa gel has a bonder in it, I believe, pure pink. But I'm going to go ahead and use one anyways. Just make sure you do one clean swipe. It's ready to grab and pull onto the product that's going to be laying on top. This is what I have on my all my nails that I ran out of. And I'm moving on to the professional grade. But you can find the IBD at your local beauty supply store. I got mine from Sally's. And then I kind of want to dab that gel away and then back into the container to kind of help. it'll help with the stringiness of it because it can be really stringy I only grabbed a little bit because you want to start with the very thin layer and not touching the cuticle area at all and flash carrying for 10 seconds going with my second layer I can grab a little bit more and I'll show you exactly what I'm trying to fade out that line but I'm still needing to build up that area that grew out. And it needs to all look like a regular nail. And many of you probably, and many of you know what I'm doing, but for those that are kind of new to this, like me, you can see what I'm doing and just explaining each step a little bit. So I just want to gently pull some of the product to kind of fade it out towards the end. I don't want that product on the edge, on the very tips of my nail unless if I'm just smoothing things out and it'll be just a little bit but I really want to keep the bulk of the product on that new nail where that white moon is 
and I'm building it up by making sure the lines are clean, not touching the cuticles. cuticles. Space. See, I'm very meticulous, not touching it. It will level out, so just a touch and it'll be fine. And now I am shaping out the apex. I'm building that up. Trying to smooth out. You can see all the bumps and stuff and flash carrying. I'm getting better at that part, but that part needs to be smooth. <laughs> so any nail, any critics out here, you hold your breath. So now I'm going in with some more. I'm being careful to make sure that my edges all the way around are even and covered nice and cleanly as possible. Going in with another layer. Trying to get as close without touching the edge and carrying. So that's how it looks like all around. I'm gonna go in with another layer. I'll end up comparing my nails to my my nail to my other thumb. I can shape it a little bit later. Later, I'm not really worried about it now. I'm just at this point wanting to go to bed. It's midnight at this point on Friday or on Thursday. Sorry. And then I'm just um, smoothing out more product at the base, making sure it is somewhat even towards the top, and then pulling gently, very minimum excess towards the tip. So you're going to end up with basically a new nail. And I want to really fade out that edge. I'm not sure if I pointed that out yet. Somewhere along this video, I tell you, I like show you that line that I want to cut. So it is a little longer, so it needs a lot of filing, and I will do that off camera for the sake of time of the video tutorial. And now it's all smoothed out shaped it up and then you can do a gel top coat if you don't want to have nail art. I'm using Revlon base coat to start off my stamping. Going in with center stage by Kiko while my thumb dries. This will be the first layer. I would love to do three layers but I only do two. I do three of the Morgan Taylor on my thumb and I do one of the layers off camera just because it dries faster than the chunky glitter but it is so gorgeous i mean look at that it's freaky shiny and sparkly just beautiful i love it and so now my thumb is dry i'm gonna go in with my first coat trying to get all the base the bottom glitters that float to the bottom back to the top by flipping it over gently don't shake it too much i I, I'm saying that, yet yeah, I do the same thing, but I'll give it like a few good shakes and then I'll flip it back over. Just making sure I cover the free edge and wait for it to dry. I'm gonna go in with Kiko Chunky Glitter Center Stage. I do my middle nail with one layer of that. That's why you see like, so I kind of did like a transitioning where this is, the main nail is like super chunky, super glittery, and then the next one is just, it has chunks, the chunks of glitter, but not as much. And you see more of the fine glitter from Morgan Taylor's Micro Hollow Polish. So I'm gonna let that dry, and I'm gonna go over my thumb. I did a third coat because it's just easier to dry and but it's all dry now and I had such V to help me. Now normally I would have the time to do this and let it all dry before I go into sh go into stamping and then it all has to be dry by the time I'm ready to top coat with the gel top coat for a UV lamp. But you don't need to have a lamp to do all this if you're for the stamping part and the art and the the polishing part you can do with regular top coats and stuff so 
don't let like the shape of my nails and anything distract you if you're new to my channel and or the ways of doing things you can do this with regular polish but if you're not new to my channel you're probably advanced in nail art and yeah you know what you're doing you're just in here for the on here for the nail art and the giveaway <laughs> And then, yeah, I end up going around with the toothpick. I'm working with clients at school, so I want to be very meticulous about the quality of my nail art. Usually, if it's just for myself, sometimes I'll let it slide. I won't cover all the edges and be as meticulous about it on camera. Off camera, I will. Like, sometimes you guys see, like, some of the line work does not go edge to edge. But I'll shut off the camera and then I'll go and fix it and be done with it. But sometimes I won't. But for school, I definitely want to be sure that my nails are super rocking, super popping, and super beautiful, super sparkly, as much as sparkly, as sparkly as possible. Now, with the high finishing gel, you can add stones here and it adds that extra shine. It really emphasizes all the sparkles that are on the nail. It, it's as if you are holding that bottle up to the light and it's like that, like that shine does not go away. That is a long lasting and I love that about hard gels. I love, I work so much with my hands and I'm very hard on my hands and I'm banging them against everything when I'm walking, I'm touching things, I'm very, I, I like, I work with my hand, I love working with my hands, so very important that it's all dry and gel, hard gel, or gel top coat really helps with this. So this is the final look. Thank you for watching everyone. Um, be sure to be back next week for a new nail look and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm also on Instagram at the bombshell nails and I will see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.